turkey marinated in last dab experience sauce for 12 hours. Then I made this into jerky. Let's see how it tastes. Meaty. It's on the bottom rack, so it was drier than the stuff on the top rack. Did it take some heat away? Huh. There's some of the heat. Maybe if it gets real... There's some of the heat. Hang on. I should have had it higher up on the rack so it would be a little softer. But I put it on the bottom rack in case any of it dripped because I had milder jerky in there too. Tastes pretty good though. It's some pretty good jerky. And it's not the hottest jerky I've ever had. Oddly enough, the dehydrator took a lot of the spice away. That's weird. That is really weird. Huh. Still get a little bit of that waviness in the spice. We'll see if it we'll see if it gets hotter though. Still. I'm really glad that I have a dehydrator now and I can make my own jerky. Because buying jerky at the store is so freaking expensive. And making it yourself is kind of fun. You get to come up with your own recipes. I, um, I mean, it's good, but I, w I wouldn't recommend using Last Dab Experience as your marinade for a jerky. It, um... A lot of the spice gets taken away. I'd put last dab on top of the jerky after the jerky's been made. It's probably what I'd suggest for people. But I definitely know plenty of people who would not be able to tolerate this this uh, this spice. But yeah, I like it. Still tastes good. Still kept some of that uh, pepper X taste, which is a pretty good tasting pepper. Still, good for a wing sauce. Not as not good for a jerky marinade. Too much of the spice gets taken away. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up.